Scanning a roll can be a perfect possibility to control the quality of long-used rolls. Normally, rolls run on high-precision CNC mills. So why should a roll be scanned? So this is what uh, many people are thinking, that they can manufacture a roll on a CNC lathe and then the roll is perfect. Uh, this is simply not true because many uh, factors are uh, during the manufacturing process having an influence on the quality of the roll. One of them is the radius of the tool. So it can make a difference if you are manufacturing a roll with or without radius tool compensation. So if you have the wrong settings, you will have the wrong contour. Uh, in addition, you always might have the problem that you have to reprogram the roll contour. Uh, this is usually done manually by specific intersection points while following the contour. And also, if the uh, operator of a machine has to do that, of course he may make a mistake. And then the result uh, of a manufactured roll is of course also wrong. And how can the Copra roll scanner help the user? In this case, what we are doing very often is we tell the customer, please send us the tooling, please send us the rolls. We will do the scanning for you. We will then check what the geometry of the rolls are and then try to find out if there is any deviation to what the customer has originally designed. If he wants to uh, make a FEA simulation, we can do that based on this tooling. We have scanned the minute before. In addition, the customer, if he has the roll scanner, can make use of this device to rescan old tooling and so in this way try to get some reverse engineering or do some reverse engineering to collect information about products he has done many years before and where nobody knows why things have been done at that time the way it has been done. So this is a good chance to really find out and try to find out what technology has been used at that time to make the product working. Beside this, it can be profitable to reuse existing rolls. There are several ways to use these old rolls in new projects. Today we have the roll scanner and the respective possibilities to rescan rolls and put it into a database management system which we call recycling database. Yes, this is a big issue for many of our customers who are custom roll formers, meaning that they have during the years made many, many different sections and therefore they have also many roles they cannot make use of anymore because they were dedicated to a specific section or uh, where the roles are worn so they do not longer have the shape they uh, should have. And this way the user now has the chance to make use of these existing toolings again. Just let's, let's imagine one of our customers has 10,000, 20,000 roles in stock that he can no longer use. If we assume that an average roll costs for manufacturing 150 euro, this means that there is a huge potential and a huge amount of money that is lying in stock doing nothing. So what we are trying is to reactivate these rolls and to give the customer the chance to save some money. So roll costs are today, especially if you make, I would say, uh, prototypes, very often the customer of our customer is not willing to pay for that cost. So the more tooling he can take from the stock and rework, the cheaper it is for him. So it is, can be very profitable if a company has a lot of roles they do not use anymore. In addition, what uh, we have to say in, in that respect, of course, to do that, you will always need a roll scanner. The reason is simple. Even if you do have uh, paper drawings, or even if you do have CAD drawings, we will not help you. Usually, while doing the setup of a machine, the rolls are being returned, changed, modified, so that, and very often the data are not changed in the CAD drawing. So that the data we have as paper, as CAD drawing, do not match with what we have in reality. So you will have to scan the roll in any case, in addition, what we need to do here is to put the role in the recycling database from which we want to take all that information. But what does reusing mean in this case?
Reusing in this case means that the designer has instant access to the rolls that have been scanned a few minutes before. We may not forget as soon as the roll is being scanned, it is available already in the database and already available for all designers that are working on projects. To make use of these possibilities, we have to, of course, change into the CAD system. In the CAD system itself, we do have the possibility to not only look for the major dimensions of a roll, like width or diameter, something like that, or borehole, which is, of course, very important. We do have the possibilities to search for similarities. You can imagine this is very, very uh, similar to looking or checking for a signature with modern um, recognition systems, photographic recognition systems whatsoever. Scanning profile sections is not difficult. Scanning profile cross sections is as easy as scanning rolls. You just put the section, a part of the section, into the scanner and scan it uh, as you will see. Of course, you can use this information not only to make sure that the geometry of the final part is what it should be, of course, within the specific tolerances. You can also use it to check for specific problems that can have some influence on your design. For example, you can check if there is a specific spring back, is a radius formed well, does it show some abnormalities, are all the lengths okay, and of course you will see also the necking in the bands. This means a specific thinning of the material in the band areas, and of course you can see if this is still valid or not.